welcome back to day four for my Witchtober. So today I wanted to talk about my most rebought items as a witch. Again, I've been a witch for over 15 years now, and so inevitably, as a beginner, you buy a lot of stuff, and then as you get older, you do more stuff, you realize most of it you don't really need. And everyone kind of gets into their own niche of like, what is their like, gotta haves. And these are mine that I buy on a semi-regular basis. And really, this is so close to the one that I just did of my like, regularly used tools. But <laughs> candles, because obviously if I'm burning candles a lot, I have to replenish them a lot. And so I will use all different kinds. I have gotten a lot from the grocery store where you're just walking and you're like, ooh, pretty. So I grab them. And those are like the, you know, some witches are very particular on like the not really like, they're not made with like perfect essential oils and made under specific phases of the moon. I don't care, they're cheap, they work, and they usually make your house smell really nice and like the smell permeates. And so I will get a lot of those. I will also use like birthday candles, especially if I am going to sit at my altar for the entire spell. They take some time to burn, but not as much as pretty much any other kind of candle. They burn pretty quick. And then of course, when I want to use an actual spell candle, then I will buy them off of Amazon because it's just convenient. I tend to get more for less. And so, you know, if I'm out at like a witchy shop, sometimes I'll pick them up. But pretty much all of our local ones, their parking situations aren't particularly great or they're really, really, really not close. And I mean like, I've got to drive probably like 40 minutes to get there. And you know, to some people that's not a big deal, but I already drive like two hours a day. So like, I don't really want to add 40 minutes on top of that to get to some of these other stores. And that's the minimum. There are some that are even further away. There's one that I would like to check out that's like an hour and a half away. Like, they're not particularly close. And again, pretty much all of them, not that great of parking. <laughs> like, they just, there's one out here, the shop is cool, but I regularly don't go because the parking sucks. Like, it's off of a really busy main road and they converted a house into a shop but they didn't take out the front yard. So you're just using a driveway for an entire business. It's squishy to say the least. Oh, and I don't know if they still have this, but they used to not want you to block the garage for like when they wanted to leave. So like you had even less parking. So I guys don't go there. And one, they only have like, I think maybe four or five parking spots and that's it and the business next door refuses to share the parking lot and like they will tow your car if you park there so like i also just don't want to go there either so i just usually shop online is that bad probably just get better parking y'all <laughs> like it's it's a nightmare for parking so i don't but yeah candles that's one of my like main rebuys all the time at least every month or two i'm restocking on some candles next is incense i go through a lot of incense now the one that i really love is the i think it's called just like india temple but you can get a box of like a hundred sticks so it lasts a long time <laughs> but that's typically the one i will use if i ever decide to make a trek out to the witchy shops i usually will pick up some particular ones like a money one or they have some for like the sabbats or the moons i'll pick those up but for the most part again I, I just go to amazon i'm not opposed to using them from like walmart so like i've got some from them but typically i usually just stick with the one scent it's one of my favorites my other favorite is from hem i think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it h-e-m and they have a forest scent I don't know what's in it, but it smells really pretty and I like that one too. But I don't use it as often. I used to a lot because I did a mega Amazon purchase when I was like 15 and I got like a huge bundle of them. And so it's taken years to get through. And so I've only recently like kind of gotten through that stash. And so now I'm working through my India temple stash, but I buy that one more frequently because it just smells so nice. I don't know what the blend is, but it's beautiful. It's literally, it smells like you walked into a witch shop. It's amazing. And then the last like regularly purchased item, 
of course is going to be my essential oils. I don't go through them very frequently. <laughs> like honestly, I thought by now I would have needed to rebuy my lavender because I got that in like May, maybe June-ish, it's October, and it's like maybe this far down. It's lasting a very long time. Again, I just take my bottle and like bloop, and that's it. And so they last a very long time. So I don't have to buy them very frequently, but when they run out, I do plan to replace them. Everything else I don't really have to do. Like there's, you know, occasionally like, you know, the Shopaholic Within is like, ooh, pretty new statue, I want it. The Grim Frost just came out. Well, not just, I just barely saw it. So maybe it's new, I don't know. But they have a new hell statue that matches. I have the, I think I have Thor and that's the only one I've gotten so far. They have like a reimagined, so it's like they have some that are small, that are replicas of like the ones we found from our ancestors. And then they have newer ones that are from modern artists and there's one for Thor, and it's gorgeous. And now, like they had one for Odin, it goes out of stock constantly and they're expensive. They're like over a hundred dollars. Plus you gotta wait a while to get it cause it's not like, you gotta go through customs and all sorts of stuff, it takes a minute. But they have one for hell and it's so pretty. I want it so bad, but it's like $120. So I got to save up for that, but I want that. And you know, like there's, there's stuff like that, that it's like, you know, a new statue for a deity I work with on the regular. I would love to get that, but it's not something I buy very often. Like the last time I bought a statue, wasn't really an intended purchase and it's not really a deity statue. It's one that I got when I went to go see my uncle before he passed away this June. And there was like a little chakra, like tea light candle holder thing. And I was like, Ooh, that's pretty. So I got that. But like, other than that, like I don't really buy statues like I used to. I used to get them all the time. Like I have probably like five or six different statues for the Morrigan. Like, I used to collect them a lot. Now I really don't. I would just like at least a representation for a deity. And that's it. Like, again, there's like hell. I want a specific kind of statue. There's a couple I'd like to get for her. But like, you know, there's a lot. Like for Freya, I'm pretty set with the one that I have. Same with Frey, unless I find like one that really fits my style. But like, I don't, I don't need like incense holders. We have like a plethora <laughs> of those. I really don't get a lot of crystals unless there's like a very specific spell that I'm doing. Like, you know, I'm tempted to redo our house guards and the warding around our house and shielding and all of that jazz, especially once the construction is done to be like, hey, bye. Cause like our backyard caved in. So I, you know, I feel like I need to redo that. I don't know if one of my rocks fell. I buried it like 11 years ago. But it all, like, the, I don't know. So I need to redo that. Like that, I might go get some crystals. But other than that, I really don't buy them that frequently. And half the time I'll just use found stones anyways, because they're just as fine. And so I'm even tempted to like not even go buy crystals, but get like bricks and deck those out instead. Like, I just, I don't really buy crystals that much anymore. My husband and my mother-in-law used to be rock hounds. Oh my God, they loved, we have so, many boxes of rocks. <laughs> like I gotta, I gotta sit and analyze from Clutterbug to tell me how to organize that many rocks because it's so many. <laughs> like I still, they're still sitting in the garage. Like I just, I haven't figured out where to put them. It needs a display case. We don't have room for a display case. Where do I put it? So I gotta, I gotta analyze where I'm gonna put that. And like decks, I'll get decks occasionally, but honestly, I have such a long list of like, ooh, maybe this deck, maybe this one, maybe this one. But again, money. I don't just instant buy them. It may be different if I had the like spare money to do, but also like I wanna enjoy my decks, so I don't wanna buy them too frequently and then be like, oh, well, pff, whatever. Like I just, I don't know, there's some that, like I just, I put them into my mega, Amazon wish list of like maybe one day I'll buy these things <laughs> and then inevitably sometimes I'll go through and want a new deck and I'll grab one but for the most part I I don't really need any new ones like again there's some that are really pretty like there's a few from Deborah Blake that I'd like to get I want to get her regular tarot deck and then I think I would probably get the mini version to put literally in my purse for that exact reason <laughs> and 
She has like an animal oracle one that I would like to get. Like she's got some good ones and you know, there's, there's just a lot of really pretty ones. There's one that I just found and I have no idea. I will look it up. I literally have my phone so I could keep track of my notes. But there's one that I just saw and it was just a random, ugh, don't you love when it has to be like, but there's prime days. So you can't actually see the thing that you're wanting to look at and you're like, cool, I don't care. Okay, so this deck that I'm wanting to get is called the Cozy Witch Tarot Deck. It is by Amanda Lovelace. But the reason I want to get this deck, like first of all, look at that art style. Isn't that gorgeous? I think it's super pretty. But the thing I love and the thing that's going to help me the most and makes me want to buy it, it has affirmations at the bottom of every single card to go along with it. Like the Cozy Witch, which is fantastic because like, yes. <laughs> but take a chance for each morning is a new beginning. I think that's a fabulous, like that's going to help me to learn the tarot because I, when I look at like the, the Revelations tarot, it's like the guidebook's good, the artwork's freaky weird, and this, this is just pretty. Like, I don't know. And I love that they're not, like it's pretty representative of people too, which is fantastic. I love that we have different body shapes and sizes and colors and like, it looks like she even has like something, like some skin deal going on. Like it's just nice to have different kinds of like representation, but also in just like such a cozy vibe. Also like my body type is represented, which is nice. Like it's, I don't know, I'm just, I want to get that deck. But it's not something like I get on the regular. Really, it's just candles, incense, and oils, and that's it. <laughs> like occasionally like something, obviously if I'm making like a dish in particular, like a magical dish or something, yeah, I'm gonna need to buy the ingredients that I usually don't have. But for the most part, like I don't go and buy, you know, elaborate candle holders. I don't buy statues very frequently, decks very frequently, even like the blends that you can find at shops. I don't really buy that frequently or like herb bundles or just dried herbs. Like there's just, there's a lot I don't buy on the regular anymore. So anyways, I would love to know what you buy as a witch on the regular basis in the comments down below. Till next time, thank you so much for coming along for Witchtober. I would love to hear your answers in the comments to any of the days. And until next time, bless be. Oh, also thanks to the patrons. I forgot y'all, I'm sorry. It's, it, the lighting is still tripping me out. So thank you to my patrons <laughs> on Tuesdays. I have my book talks on Thursdays is my audiobook, and on Saturdays is when I am going through STOW right now. And then I'll go back to my chaos of whatever I'm doing in my own craft, but I want to get through this book before the end of the year. So anyways, till next time. Bye.